when you focus your mind to meditate, the Buddha says you establish mindfulness to the fore. Now what that means is that you try to remember what you're here for and what you're going to do, and then keep that in mind. In this case, you're going to try to keep in mind the fact that you're with the breath. And don't forget that. There are people who think that mindfulness means being aware. I actually heard one mindfulness teacher say, well, being aware is not the problem, it's learning how to remember to be aware. That's the problem. Well, that's what actually the Buddha is talking about. Remember that you want to be here. The awareness actually is alertness, watching what you're doing. And the mindfulness is there to remind you this is what you should be doing. And if there are any problems that come up, if you've had those problems before, mindfulness can remind you, okay, when the mind was sleepy, you used to cure it like this. When the mind was overactive, you used to cure it like this. Give it a try. So not just in the present moment. You have to make reference to the past, what you've learned from the past that's of value to know right now. That's what presence of mind means. You're not just aware in the present moment, but you're also there with the knowledge that will make you skillful in the present moment, and it will ena enable you to know what you should do and how to do it well. So you're here, but you also make reference to what you've learned from the past. This is how the meditation becomes a skill. And we need this skill as we go through life. Our mind, for the most part, is pretty unprotected. Especially nowadays when everybody's carrying a screen around, it's like having a fifth column in your pocket. Someone is trying to give rise to your greed, aversion, and delusion. So you have to be very careful, because greed and aversion and delusion are very easily provoked, and often they don't have to wait for provocation from outside. They're out there looking for trouble already. And after all, we turn these things on. So you want to make sure why you turn them on, that there's a good purpose for it, and then when that purpose has been served, you turn them off. This way you can learn some restraint over your screens. Now you protect your mind from all kinds of things. And then you can look at where the real problem is, of course, which is inside. There's another reason why we focus on the breath, to give ourselves a good safe place inside, a good safe space. So when greed comes up, we don't have to go running with it. We can look at it. Look at it with a sense that we're not overwhelmed by it. The same with anger, the same with delusion. This way we keep ourselves protected, both from influences outside and from bad influences inside. So try to be mindful. Put mindfulness to the fore. Remind yourself there is there's work to be done on your mind, and this is a good time to do it, because right now is the only time you can do it. And if you don't do it now, this moment has been thrown away. So make the most of each moment before it goes. That way you have something to show for your time here as a human being.